All right, hell yeah. We just got back from boating, so we got a winter helmet, you know what I mean, a ski helmet. Uh, that just goes right there. And then, uh, so that dries, and then we got our shoes, shoes on the boot dryer. All right, let's head downstairs. All right, hell yeah. We just hung up our PFD, opened the pocket, uh, got the rope out, and got our kind of our, just our rescue kit out. And that's gonna dry. All right, on to the next step. All right, hell yeah. We got our laundry up here, but what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna turn it on hot, set it up for a big load, and uh, just, just uh, let that fill up. Catch on the flip side. All right, hell yeah. I got laundry on the ground, and uh, what we got going is uh, we got the sink sink on. We're just gonna do that and get some soap going. You know what I mean? Uh, because socks, socks definitely, and we need to flip all our socks inside out. And it uh, looks like, oh, we got one more. So flip the socks inside out, and we're just gonna give these a wash right now. Harbor Freight, hell yeah, you just get huge gloves. And uh, get the camera where you can see it. But yeah, these, these are my fave, you know what I mean? You don't want to get your hands wet. They're a little bit overkill, especially for this, but uh, they'll be real helpful. Um, you know what I mean? And then you don't need much water, because you don't want to splash it around. But man, neoprene socks are just real hard to, uh, I mean, they ain't washing in the agitation cycle, you know what I mean? So uh, you, know, you, you gotta keep them fresh and clean. And I just did this the other day, actually, so uh, there's not too much, you know what I mean? The water won't get too dirty. But yeah, definitely, you know what I mean? Just agitate near the toes. Uh, that'll keep that uh, neoprene just so fresh and so clean. All right, you know what I mean? We don't have to go crazy, but obviously the inside is uh, what gets the grossest. But I think we're just gonna be, we're, we're gonna be done there. Um, we're gonna use the... Let's see, what, we're, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know, we're just gonna... Yeah, look at that. So we're, we're just gonna leave those there. All right, take this off. Next thing, gloves. You know what I mean? You don't want anything getting funky. So what we do is we take uh, the pliers and we're just gonna turn these inside out. I don't know if I uh, need to switch gloves or take these gloves off, we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, these pliers are just super cool. So you just jam it in, find the end of the finger, pop it out. You know what I mean? It's not rocket science, but hell yeah. But it is pretty sweet, else you ain't getting those fingers out unless you do this. And and uh, I, I don't know. I swear like if you come up with like a cool method, no one actually wants to do it that way. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm, I'm gonna be the only one, but that, that's all right. I'll have fresh gloves. And uh, once once these do wash, it's actually real easy to flip them, uh, flip them back. You can just, but it's real hard to flip them this way. Okay, hell yeah. So those are gonna, you know what I mean? So now all this stuff's just ready for the wash and we'll just put it right here. Okay, so we have our uh, skull caps. Booyah, that's ready for the wash too. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna let this thing fill up and I'm gonna catch on the flip side. Well, you know what I mean, so we don't forget, let's juice it up. Hell yeah, all juiced up. All right, hell yeah. While that's filling, I'm gonna show you one thing. You know what I mean? We do, we do a, a big uh, insulated thermos and uh, we fill it full of orange juice. You know, we almost make just a huge thing of orange juice, put about four ice cubes in this, and it, it stays icy cold all day. You know what I mean? So uh, when I'm surfing out there, if it ever looks like I turned into bigger Mario, or firepower Mario, it's because I took a couple swigs of orange juice, and, and, then, we, and then we hit it up. Anyway, and then, uh, so hell yeah, I just have a hook for this, and uh, we, we already took care of the orange juice. All right, catch you on the flip side. All right, hell yeah, this was the blue bag. We already turned it inside out. I actually made a, a YouTube about that, but hell yeah, we, we got some of these gel packets. You know what I mean? I don't do sugar too much, high protein, but hell yeah, when you're out there trying to crush it, sugar to the brain is the only thing that's gonna make rafting click. You know what I mean? And, and then you'll do your thing. And then also this pump uh, goes in there. All right, uh, catch on the flip side. 
All right, hell yeah. It's not the very first thing I do when I get home, but hell yeah, get the SD card in there, start transferring your data, and then we'll start uploading that to a movie in a second. All right, catch you on the flip side. All right, hell yeah. Now let me just reiterate, because if it's like spraying on the lock saw and like camping sucks in your car anyway because it's so cold, you know what I mean? You want to throw on fresh clothes every time, you, even if you do two laps, you know what I mean? Strip down out of your dry suit. You know what I mean? Everything's from Costco. Costco base layers, super cheap. And then you can find these sweatshirts, you know what I mean? Uh, just just amazing for, for like 10 bucks or even cheaper. And then big sweatpants, you know what I mean? No cotton, it is, it's so cool. They had kind of two different variety. So I just have like five pair. Let's say that's five little trips uh, you want to you want to do. You know what I mean? Costs you like 50 bucks to, you know, just have like five different sets of insulation. Um, and then you can just kind of hang it and then wash it when you get home after you're done camping. But anyway, uh, yeah, a lot of wool socks. So I definitely recommend wool socks and a dry suit as your first layer. Because you'll just have eight pair of these instead of just having like one very specific pair of neoprene that's going to get funky real fast. All right, now we're going to wash the dry suit. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, yeah, if you do do the thrift store, you know what I mean? Uh, these, these vests come in kind of handy because it's like this extra layer and it doesn't uh, put too much bulk in your arms. But hell yeah, definitely... Uh, fleece vest if you can give you get them at brand new costco cool but it's about the only thing i would do at the thrift store you do not want to do fleece from the thrift store and wear it as your primary go you're just gonna stink after you uh you know work hard and get sweaty so anyway that, that's pro tip get it so fresh so clean cheap as hell from costco all right catch you on the flip side all right hell yeah it's go time all right uh, you know what i mean this is all set we're gonna get our big ridiculous harbor freight gloves uh but yeah these, these are cool just don't get water in them you know you'll have to flip these things inside out so they don't go funky anyway that's why i also wear gloves underneath just in case you don't oh anyway oh let's let's do it so uh i mean i would i would flip this all the way out that's the only thing with these gloves that they don't it's a little hard to to reach in here but uh you know what i mean We'll do it a couple times and I'll show you some tricks. Ah, so even here, yeah, yeah, if it's, this this was a, a bummer on me. Yeah, if you're, if you're at the takeout or you take this thing off, make sure to, you know, take it all the way off. Because uh, it just makes this process just more of a pain later on. So, my bad on that one. Yeah, it's really hard to to just grab little pieces of this. Might as well just do it all in one go. All right, so what I do is I I do the feet first. That's going to be the kind of the funkiest. But anyway, yeah, hell yeah, we'll we'll just do it double time. And I got back pain galore, so I, I need to just get a good uh, get a good wide stance. But yeah, it doesn't take too long, you know what I mean? But yeah, we'll do we'll do about five minutes of washing. Maybe like three minutes one side, and then we'll flip it, and then do uh, three minutes uh, on the other side. But this is the inside, so this is what you want to spend most of your time doing. All right, heck yeah, gentle cycle. And you could just run your, you know, you could just run this thing if you wanted to. Um, but I would work the feet just a little bit, um, you know, and then run it, I don't know. But you might as well just hand wash it because you're gonna have to flip it inside out anyway. You know what I mean? And we're gonna be pretty much done. You're just trying to get you know what I mean? Just try to loosen all that, uh, you know, sweat. Because these, you know, if you work hard and you're swimming all the time, and this dry suit isn't 100% dry, you definitely want to wash it every time. Okay, hell yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it is kind of a bummer to... Uh, to reach in and kind of flip this thing inside out but sometimes it's just best to just work with the hand arms first 
So we'll do that. And I don't want to get my hands all soapy. I just don't like detergent. It's not, it's not gentle on the skin. All right, hell yeah. So we got the arms. It, it takes a little bit of, you know what I mean? That's the only thing that just takes some patience. But yeah, so pull up the leg. And what we're gonna do is, uh, all right, so there, there we are. And then I just like to pull up the whole thing. Cause you kind of want to do this all in one go. And you want to go all the way to the toe, grab the toe. All right, perfect. Heck yeah, so we got that leg. You know what I mean? You can pull it up to here to see what you're doing, but sometimes that's not the best. You, you know, you want, you want the whole leg exposed on the other side. There you go. And now you can, uh, and all, these gloves make it harder to reach in. So if you don't use gloves, you know what I mean? Way easier. But there you go. Our hands are nice and dry. Okay, booyah. Now, same thing on this side. All right, grab those toes. All right, heck yeah, there they are. All right, yeah, we're gonna do this for like a minute, you know what I mean? I mean, just anything is helpful compared to just not washing it. All right, hell yeah. Okay. And then we're, we're going to do the good thing. We're done. Uh, but we're going to throw in all this uh, laundry into here. Whew. Man. All right. Let's see what we can do. Or right, how we doing? All right. One, two, three, go. Okay. Hell yeah. We got that in there. We're going we're gonna to do our laundry. And, uh, yeah, that'll just start right up. Okay, booyah. Now this, we're just going to do a cold rinse. So we're just going to grab the toes. Now you might want to do like a full proper rinse. You know what I mean? Fill the tub up. But, uh, because you will get, you will get kind of soap stains on it. And that can dry out your material just a little bit. But this thing's so old, I just, I don't really care. So, you know I mean? We just do our best. You know what I mean? Just get a nice little rinse going. All right, but now same thing. We're going to uh, grab the arms. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, but hell yeah. Make sure the leg goes all the way like that. And then just reach all the way to the bottom. Do it all at once. See, now find the leg hole, but then bring everything back over your arm. Get the whole leg straight. And then reach towards the bottom. And then hold your breath while you're doing this because, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, not because it's smelly, but you know what I mean? Anytime you're doing like river stuff and you, something's kind of complex, hold your breath and it's, it, 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 uh, it kind of it mellows you out. You know what I mean? It's kind of like smoking pot maybe, but it allows you to focus. Instead of just doing this and doing it wrong, you know what I mean? You hold your breath. All right, you're just gonna be so much more methodical. All right, hell yeah, we're done though. You know what I mean? Good enough. And we we got oh sorry, we got a drain on this floor, so you know we we we, we don't waste any time. We just uh, do that. Good enough. Come over here to this drain, and then we're just gonna take. The middle part of the suit go over the door 
Hell yeah. All right, so that's gonna drain. We're gonna come back. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe when this is done and then I can flip it inside out again. You know what I mean? So there, there you go. We'll basically flip it three times. We'll let the inside kind of dry out, but there's a lot of water inside now the toes and stuff. And so we'll let that settle, flip it. And then before we go to bed, we'll flip it back to the inside out, uh, just so the inside dries. All right, so we did it. Hell yeah. Get these gloves off. Cool. All right, so uh, may maybe I'll catch on the flip side. We'll, we'll flip that thing inside out. All right. All right, hell yeah. We're ready to flip this inside out. And our laundry's done. And uh, you know what I mean? If you just wear these gloves and then throw these over, that'll keep your hands nice and dry. And uh, also give you a, a good glove to work with. Okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna flip this. You know what I mean? Right side out. And I gotta be careful because I gotta I gotta I can't reach in. I should get the other gloves, but uh, you know what I mean we'll try it this way. It's just a little bit harder. There you go. Whoop. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this method works. You know what I mean? It's still good to, uh, you know what I mean, make sure the leg's not twisted, though. Uh, but heck yeah, we've got a lot of water going on here. All right, got one. We're going to do the other. Throw that laundry into there. And then, you know what I mean, once that laundry's done... I don't know, or, or before I go to bed, I'll uh, flip this one more time. Just so it kind of dries out from the outside, uh, inside out. <clears throat> anyway. But heck yeah, this is gonna take care of a lot of the bulk water um, that can just drain off. Okay, so get it situated kind of right at the waist. All right, booyah, booyah. All right, so now there's no hidden water anywhere. And, uh, heck yeah, we're ready to load up. All right, booyah, not too much. Leaves or sand. All right, we did it. So uh, I'm gonna catch on the flip side. All right, hell yeah, one more thing. I think I've, I've showed you guys these before, but it's a Nalgene, and then I took a three-foot strap, so let me get this on top of my head. So what is that? What I did was I took a three-foot strap, and uh, you know what I mean, this is just kind of to hang it, but there you go. So uh, this is a three-foot strap, and just go, you know, all the way around, and uh, this way, you know what I mean, Th this thing's just gonna yank off. This won't hold your Nalgene, you know, to, to, a, to a raft at all. So anyway, so this is this is sweet. So then you can just, I really like soft straps besides carabiners, you know what I mean? Because then you know it's, and then you just got, it's, it's really easy to undo and usually can, you know, take up all the slack too. You're not gonna reach a hand through there. So anyway, so I, I do like that. And uh, with a three footer, and you can always cut down to four if that's all you got, but uh, you know what I mean? Do this, and then at the end of the day, I always, I always store my Nalgene's uh, with the caps open, you know what I mean? So that you don't get anything funky. And then at the end of the day, I just hang them, and then by tomorrow, um, I'll just put them, I won't, I won't cap them though, I'll, but I'll put them away. All right, hell yeah, catch on the flip side. All right, hell yeah. Now if it's winter time, I can just actually leave the boat outside because it's just frozen, you know what I mean? And then kind of, kind of like freeze dries. Um, and it doesn't uh, get the car, you know what I mean, that perfect humid temperature. But anyway, but uh, I just brought it in. You know, I'm not going to unroll it, but I'm just going to have it sit here for at least a day, probably a couple days. You know, that kind of gets most of the moisture out. And then I'll just put it back in my car, and then whatever will freeze, you know what I mean, because it's winter time. So, uh, but heck yeah. So that's kind of how I take care of my raft without putting a lot of effort to just like unroll it, dry it, or, or put it somewhere crazy. All right. All right, hell yeah, we're ready to take out our clothes from the dryer. 
And there's really just one more thing to do. It's the neoprene socks. They do not dry on the inside. So I'll uh, get something to kneel on. So there you go. So you, you have to you have to undo these, wing them out, and then you're just good to go. Everything else is, you know what I mean? Everything else is good except the socks. Thin ones will dry all the way through, but not these thick ones. You know what I mean? So you gotta do that. Um, yep. So you wanna wash them um, inside out and then uh, flip them right side, uh, you know, the right way. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> hell yeah. You don't want to go too hot, but heck yeah. So our gloves, ah shoot, this thumb didn't, didn't go. But anyway, um, it's actually pretty easy to get these going the other way. Because uh, there's just a lot of friction on the neoprene itself due to, with these gloves. So so I, I, just, I just flick them out. But you know, you, you really can't, it's really difficult to do it the other way. Maybe you can. All right, so you can do that method or just pop your finger in and kind of like roll it out. So get your finger in deep and then roll it. All right, hell yeah. But yeah, it's kind of a bugger. All right, but these gloves are clean and dry, so there you go. They get thrashed, but you know what I mean? Insulation's insulation, so the tips of your fingers get cold, but whatever. I would have two pairs of gloves, one for like the way out, you know what I mean? Like the, the mittens. The mittens are pretty good, but man, they need to make, you know what I mean? You almost need to get like ice fishing gloves just for the way out, you know, something that you're not gonna tear up. Um, but you know how it is. You're like, you'll be boating all day and then you got like a three mile paddle out or something, crazy. Sometimes you just need to stay warm on a river trip, even though you're not going, you know, too crazy with the paddling. All right, all right, hell yeah. And I'm gonna flip this inside out off camera, but we'll do that. And we're done you know what i mean well um let's see yeah so this we'll flip it one more time <clears throat> i'll uh right before i go to bed in a couple hours you know what i mean maybe three hours i'm gonna go to i'm gonna stay up a little bit later tonight um but hell yeah um but yeah so there's still a little bit of water in the shoe but you know it goes a long way and water drains so like this is all already dry so honestly, if you can find a way to hang, um, you know, so I'm just gonna go like right here. And now, now all this, so it's wet up here and all this is just gonna go all the way down. And then, uh, and then I can, and I, in, a, in an hour I can reverse it. So, um, but yeah, so this part's real fairly dry because it was already draped over. Like water really is heavy. And so it does get to, you know what I mean, the bottom. So it's like if you're if you're trying to dry a rug, you want to hang it and then rotate it. So then all the water like will go all the way to the bottom and then you'll shift it again. And as you get capillary action, then it'll it'll peel off into the environment. You know what I mean? Make your room humid. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's, that's the way to, it'll dry faster. Cause right now, heck yeah, it's real wet from here down, um, but if, if you took it and hung your dry suit upside down and kept rotating it, it would dry out a lot faster. All right, that's just a little physics. Okay, we'll see if we catch on the flip side. All right, hell yeah, I gotta get to bed, but we gotta, we gotta turn this inside out one more time. And we did a little, uh, you know what I mean? We put it near the top, we let it drain down, so now this is kind of the wettest. Um, but other than that, we're looking actually pretty good. And when we even put our socks up against here, you know what I mean, to get this to drain down. And so that's looking real good. You know what I mean? Just get that water moving. It'll dry out a lot faster. I mean, not that we're worried about it, 
but it's just kind of interesting those skills you'll be able to use when you're camping be like hell i want this thing dry tomorrow and so uh, how do you do that all right so heck yeah get the arms legs and uh i'm gonna take this upstairs because it's just a lot drier up there all right heck yeah you know what i mean keep the feet nice and fresh get them dry as fast as possible so that's what we do you know what i mean and uh yeah so everything's looking it's actually looking pretty dry already like like I, I could go boating in there except uh you know my feet are a little bit wet but other than that good to go all right so we did it we're done boating and uh you know what i mean that's that's the system that i use um at the end of the day boating all right thanks for joining me and that's a video